Hey everybody, welcome to Stoned Reacts. So glad you're here joining me today. It's been a while. I saw first on Twitter that she had put a new video up not too long ago. And of course, you know, someone screenshotted her with all this food and everything. My husband always says that uh, I sound like I'm mad in these reactions. <laughs> I can promise you it's sheer frustration because when I saw that, all I could think about is why is she doing this to herself? Like she's not doing it to anybody else. She's doing it to herself. I mean, let, let's, let's be real. Eating bad, not taking care of your health, not having any concern for your well-being. You're doing it to yourself. Nobody else is doing it to you. And when I saw that she had, had ordered this massive meal to eat, I just thought, I have to do a reaction to this. So we're going to get into this. Take it back to the beginning. Go past her little promo. All right, let's get into it. I might speed her up a little bit. Well, hello there. How are you? I hope you're having a Doing great day. Doing good. My beady-eyed self here, about to have a mukbang for you. Let's call this Fast Food Friday, even though in that case, most days are Friday for me, but anyway. They included cutlery, that's the bonus. Oh. So it looks like homemade food is so much better. But yeah, homemade food is much better. I mean, look at the c calories, the intensity of that food. Uh, you know what? I cooked yesterday. I didn't two sandwiches, guys. Two sandwiches. I mean, this is this is what's so frustrating for everybody who has followed Chantal forever. She is very frustrating. Like, she continues to beat herself up. And that's what she's doing. She doesn't care about her health. She doesn't care about anything. She just wants to be gratified. You know, she wants to you know, indulge in these things that are not good for her. Film, I didn't do a video. I don't really have a lot going on in my life. So I don't know what's going to happen with my channel. So if you don't have a lot going on in your life, why aren't you cooking yourself a fresh meal, something healthy, maybe having a side salad with it, maybe a piece of grilled chicken. Um, you could do a side of fry, you know, maybe put some air fry, some cauliflower, you have that air fryer, um, Brussels sprouts, whatever veggie you like. Why not do that? It's so easy to make. It would take you like, what, 20 minutes in total? Ooh. Now, just so you guys know, this is a triple cheeseburger, okay? Three burgers, full size, triple, and volcano fries, which looks like it has fried onions, meat on it, and um, cheese. I wanted like a triple burger, so I got a triple burger. <laughs> All right, now this. Hey, nothing wrong with the triple burger. Get rid of the bun. Just eat the burger. Oh, she went live again. Oh, maybe we can catch her. Is, I think it's called Sobia. It's these drinks, popular drinks that they make during Ramadan. With like This has like vanilla, coconut. Mm. Another overly sweet drink that she doesn't need to have, right? All the sugar, the carbs that she's going to consume right now. She could do so much better. Look, she could have ordered that triple burger, got rid of the bun. She would have been perfectly fine. Don't even eat those volcano fries. You don't need that. It's really delicious. So I'm going to have some. And I'm not saying in any way that this is easy to change your habits and to change the way that you eat. And. But she makes no effort at all. I'm in no way saying it's easy. I mean, it is easy, right? We can tell her what to do, what we think will work and whatnot. It's not easy, but you have to work at it. And she could do so well for her channel if she turned things around and got serious. I mean, people would invest in seeing this morbidly obese death fat get healthy and lose weight. And then she could do all those things that she wanted to do, travel and do this and that. We also have a bottle of this stuff for Ramadan. I forget what it's called. I'll have to put a note. It's really good though. <laughs> I trust you. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, Bismillah. I want some now of this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tastes like grape juice to me. I'm not sure what time. I'm sure it's at night. Yeah, I, don't know. They drink it. I don't know if she's breaking her fast or not. Because they had to break it the fast with a date or something sweet. I don't know. Very popular during Ramadan. Okay, so these fries. 
I don't even know what's on them. Jalapenos, onions, ground meat, uh, beef bacon, mm. cheese, and some kind of spicy sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. First She's going to shove it in. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. They're called volcano fries. Mm, that's wonderful. They're pretty good. I like the thick cut, like the steak fries. I don't like those skinny straw fries. Like, yeah, I, I don't. I don't either. And, like, hard fast. Okay, I've never. Ha I've ne I don't know if I've ever eaten a triple burger. Let's see. I would vomit if I ate something like this. Like, uh, look at that. Look at that. Like, I would have to use like a knife and fork and like just eat the meat like properly. That's a big, big burger for a woman, for her to be eating. Um, you got quite the fierce appetite. All right, how am I gonna dislocate my jaw? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Look at her. <laughs> she's 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 gonna climax. Hold on. She's about to come. Greasy and cheesy. Mm. Just get rid of the bun. The bun is annoying mm. me. Just get rid of it. And the okay. stupid fries. You need fries like you need a hole in your head. Let's try this here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I don't have anything to talk about. Really? So well, why are you doing a video? I'm super excited for. I saw the trailer for Beetlejuice too. It's actually happening. I don't think Beetlejuice two will be nearly as good as Beetlejuice one. It's very rare that I find movies when they do, you know, a remake or, you know, series of them, it's never quite as good as the uh the first one. Mm-hmm. I have to see. Wait, let me see something. Okay, so you can't see the whole nutritional facts, but this is a McDonald's triple cheeseburger. 540 calories, which I was shocked. I thought it would be more calories. 32 grams of protein, 34 grams of carbs, 31 grams of fat. And let's see, anything else? Yeah, so that kind of gives you an idea of what she's consuming when it comes to the burger. Now this seems more like it, okay? This is the Wendy's triple burger, okay? The Wendy's Dave's triple cheeseburger. 1,090 calories. That, that seems more like it. That makes so much more sense. That's what it's gotta be. Total fat, 73 grams. Of that 29 is saturated, four are trans. Sodium, 1,560. Total carbs, 41. Sugar, 8. Protein, 70 grams. Okay, so that gives you an idea. She Just that burger alone is 1,000 calories. Okay? It's a lot of calories. Okay, let's get back to her. That's some tasty meat. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Jenna Ortega, is in it? Lydia, the um, Winona Ryder. And Michael Keaton. It's too big to eat, like, all at once. So I'm going to eat it like this. Don't hate me. No, that's what I would so do. Oh, anyway. Minus the bun. Also has Catherine, like, has, like, most of the original cast. That looks like Beetlejuice is back to bees. I mean, didn't she buy... Yeah, the bacon? Didn't she buy all that food recently? That she was going to make all this food and preparation for Ramadan? Like... I don't even understand with all the food they have in that apartment that they had to order takeout. But this is probably just a show of her manipulation. You know, she wants what she wants and she's going to get what she wants because that's how Chantal is. She only hears her voice. She disregards anybody else. It's just about her. And if she wants that food, 
she is going to be a nag and she's going to annoy the hell out of the person who is her caregiver until they give in. I mean, we see it on 600 pound life, right? You see those people when they're videotaping them in, in their regular home situation and how they might get angry. They might um, start complaining. They have pain. They're uncomfortable. And then you feel guilty. So you get them the food. And you start enabling this behavior because you just want to shut them the hell up. Right? You just want them to stop. Because they won't stop. And that's where the manipulation comes in. And I'm sure she does that to him quite often. Because, you know, we know what a simp he is. Here is made with, like, Scat daddy sauce. skin. Or turkey. Like, at the Wendy's here, the Baconator is called the beef Beefinator. Another thing. Oh, she's choking. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. She was choking there. Woo. I'm shocked living on the sea that she doesn't eat more fish. Like, that just came into my mind. Like, fish is so healthy for you. I know not everybody's into it, but she eats fish. We know that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't had beef in a while. Even the meatloaf I made yesterday. And she made meatloaf it's yesterday. <laughs> Ew. Wait. There is such a thing as meatloaf made with chicken. You gotta be kidding me. I gotta look this up. <laughs> Okay, well, I've only had meatball, uh, meatball, <laughs> meatloaf once in my life. Uh, it's not a common food we eat in our culture. Uh, I've ne I did not know that you can make it with chicken. I always thought it was a ground meat thing, but apparently so. It's all over the internet. <laughs> there is such a thing as ground chicken meatloaf. All right, I learned something new today. I took two chicken breasts uh -huh. and ground them in a food processor. Really? It was really good. Mm. I'm shocked you didn't videotape it and put it for content. <sighs> I mean, really, that's that's like such easy content, right? Just videotape yourself cooking a meal. People will watch it. Mm. But no, she won't do that. Our little Chantal. Hmm, clog up those arteries, honey. Ooh, spicy. I just wish she would incorporate some whole food. Foods, sorry. Whole foods into her diet. Like, just add some vegetables. All she does is, like, eat tons of carbs. And, yeah, she has the meat, too. And that's good. We want protein. But she rarely ever, like, eats veggies. Like... I mean, she used to eat salads once in a while when she was in Canada. But I notice here she's either eating out or she is eating in. She's eating huge portions. It's filled with carbs. It's filled with sugar. It's, yeah. We did. We just, I was just really busy yesterday. And, and on top of that, I was like, you know what? You just want to date yourself. I wonder what you were busy with. I can't imagine what Chantal does all day. I mean, can, can we like, can we like speculate what she does? So I'd imagine her going to the bathroom would be an event. Now I could say at 270 some pounds at my max, uh, it was, you know, becoming challenging. Not that I had an issue in that area. However, uh, it was a lot more work right you get more tired your joints hurt it's it's an event to take a shower go to the bathroom and whatnot but wiping herself I, i'm still trying to figure out how she does it because her arms are short her midsection is absolutely enormous it seems like her weight kind of hangs out in that midsection of hers so unless she's using one of those potty sticks that obese people use to wipe themselves i can't imagine but then again, we saw her in Canada clearly go to the bathroom on live streams and not wash her hands or wipe herself, just literally pull up her pants and walk out of the bathroom. Um, so her panties must be quite crusty. Yeah, must be quite crusty. I'd imagine that takes up a lot of time. And then, of course, they don't use toilet paper and they have a garden hose in the bathroom. So I'm assuming Sala must hose her off. Like literally an elephant at the zoo um because i don't know it looks like a hose to me like i've seen bidets it doesn't look anything like that setup um it literally looks like a washroom where you would like hose yourself down so 
that's that. So at the times her sala is there to hose her off. So that's the only time that that area would get clean. Then she has to take a shower. I mean, the stench must get pretty bad by one week. Um, pipe stinks up real bad. I mean, you got the BO, you got the, you know, I don't care how much perfume and stuff you lay on yourself, you're still going to stink. And that, that has to be huge. I mean, he has, <coughs> sorry, he has to be helping her shower because and I could totally see how he could get into that because if he's a scat daddy she could like take a nice load you know say honey I'm ready for a shower and he could like hose her down and watch like the crap splatter all over her ass um so I would I would guess that he's totally into that and they have a lot of fun um so that would take up time taking a shower but that would happen once a week so I can't imagine what like on a daily basis well maybe that was the day that she did all those things you know she got to get the hose down yesterday um and supposedly she cooked herself chicken meatloaf which I don't know do I believe that she did that because when did she show it I mean really it's free content for her to film herself cooking it all she would have to do is film herself cooking it make a nice clip video post it and she'd get, like, views. I don't understand why she wouldn't do that if she actually put all that effort into making a chicken meatloaf. We just wanted a day of, like, to ourselves, <laughs> not being on camera. Well, you were offline for, what, two days. People were starting to speculate that she was visa hopping. Um, clearly, that obviously wasn't the case because she would have been absent for quite a bit more time. But she's coming up to that period soon. I believe it's April. I think I'll definitely have more days like that. <laughs> look, I imagine YouTubers... Look, YouTubers need their downtime. I get it. Like, I can't imagine, like, all day, every day, this is your life. I changed my name to Every Other Day Miriam. <laughs> every Other Day Miriam? Okay. Funny. You're so funny. Every Day Mir. Oh. Oh, wait, she changed her name. Oh my god, I just noticed this. It says Everyday Maria. What? I didn't notice that. Okay. So I'm super stoked. I think in September it's coming out. I don't think it's going to be as good. That's a classic. I literally cannot wait. We're so excited for you, Chantal. We can't wait till you waddle your way to the movie theater and get your simp husband to escort you and buy you your popcorn and I'm your sure nachos and <laughs> cheese and pander to your every need. But. <clears throat> Guys like that are such a turn off. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my god. The uncomfortable silence. I feel like with the headphones on, I'm hearing <sighs> background music or something. I hope it comes here. Like, I don't know if a TV's running or something. Do you guys hear it? I don't know. I think you have to have the headphones on to hear it. up a little bit. This is like painful. Okay. Other than that, mm -hmm. my life is pretty uneventful. I just haven't been in the mood to, to film. Like, no motivation. So most done, guys. Wow, she ate that whole thing. Mm -mm -mm. She ate all the whole triple cheeseburger and the volcano fries. The taste grilled. I haven't had a real good grilled burger in a long time. Oh, they should be grilled. How? What other way would people do it? Grill it. I guess you could bake it. Yeah. It tastes like um, home cooked meal. Mm. Like on the barbecue. Fun time. Ooh, 
She's still got a little bit more. Shove it in, baby. My stomach would be screaming like right now in pain from all that food. Usually like a mix of burgers, hot dogs, chicken breast. And that's the one thing, like, okay, so I now am on Zep Bound. I did Ozempic for a year and to lose the remaining like 50 pounds I had to get to my goal. And it suppresses your appetite. It makes it so much easier to manage through your day with your impulsive eating and especially the food noise. That's one thing that uh, is very obvious when you take this medication it slows down and even shuts down the food noise and when I say food noise it's those you know in your head you're you're telling yourself you want to eat something you know it's in your head um, it's not like I'm hungry because I'm physically hungry it's more like you know you're just thinking about food constantly um, <clears throat> and you just want to eat that's something that she could definitely benefit from. But see, this is the thing that I noticed about Chantal and Amberlynn. They don't want to be restricted. That makes them actually miserable. Because when they did it, they were miserable. Like they hated, uh, Chantal even said she didn't like the restriction. Because she couldn't eat as much as she wanted to. So for her, the mental component isn't just, I want to eat food. But she has to eat a certain amount of food to satisfy herself mentally, which is pretty wild. Like even with her appetite being suppressed, that, that doesn't make her happy. Whereas like a person like me, when I feel the suppression of my appetite and that food noise goes down in my, in my head, I'm thrilled. I'm excited. Excited. I'm ecstatic. I want to work out. I want to eat better. I want to, because I, I'm able to control it better. And that's the benefit that you get. That's been my experience. And it's so sad to me that she doesn't want to benefit in that way. Because look, she has type 2 diabetes. She's morbidly obese. Her BMI is way over. I'm sure her A1C is off the chart. There's no doubt she'd qualify to get the medicine. So it's not like she can't get it. You know, there's a lot of people out there now that they can't, they don't know what to do on maintenance because now they don't qualify for the medicine. So they can't continue to maintain the control of the mind and the obsession of food. I mean, she could qualify for it, but that's what I think is the hiccup with her because I noticed when she was on Ozempic, she didn't like it. She did not like not being able to eat a lot. That was troubling her. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you've never had corn on the cob grilled on the, on the barbecue. Oh, it's so good. Have to try oh, it it's so summer. good. So, so good. I agree. Look at her fingers. Like everything has to get dirty. Mm-hmm. Okay. My mom would make her salads, like potato salad, macaroni, mm. or linguine salad. Linguine salad. As like salad. linguine and like a salad supreme spice seasoning with Italian dressing. Ooh la la. And she puts like a whole onion in it, cut in half. All right, and, and let's just, you know, let's just consider the big glass of sugar she's going to be eating, you know, drinking now. It's so good. Everyone requests that she makes that. If we go to like, we would go somewhere like to an event, like a baby shower or something. Mmm. I think everybody has a I signature a dish. Taste, it tastes like grape juice. Do you guys have a signature dish? Like whenever you go to someone's house or there's a holiday dinner or something, like everybody's like, oh, can you bring that so-so salad or that thing or whatever you make to the party? I think everybody has a that special dish they get asked for. Let me know what yours is. I'm curious. All right, so I'm going to end this here because this is done. So I'm going to check and see what her other video lo looks like, and I'm going to come right back. Okay, so she went live 23 minutes ago, so I am jumping in kind of a little bit into the, the live stream to see what she's talking about. So let's just jump in, see what she's got to say. Hubby makes butter for Land O'Lakes? No way. That's a cool job. 
Hey, Paul. Your husband's a professional butter churner. I, I don't know what's been happening on social media. I'm just tired of it. The hell's... I'm tired of everything you see on social media. Green grapes, yeah, probably Millie. Why is there a light flashing in her face? <laughs> I just... Is this one of Sala's ridiculous... Oh, I'm sorry. Scat Daddy's ridiculous toys. Oh, yo mama sent her money? Let's see what he had to say. All right, here we go. So yo mama gave $5 and said, Shannon talked so much trash about your supposed financial freedom. I'm sorry, financial support of Sala. Yet she's been supporting her husband this whole time. Hypocrisy. All right, I don't even know what that's about because I don't really keep up with that tra drama. Let me see if I can update this chat. Okay. No, I didn't go over it. <laughs> Can you show us the makeup products? Sure, Kiki. I use the same ones for years now. So I only have to show you once and you'll, you know, makeup in the... Okay. This and, is then crap. and then somebody responded, get out of here, yo mama, trying to create drama and stir things up. Yep. No, this is, you know, you're fasting all day. And I just, I feel like people think I'm like dead to, like just dead already, you know? So I have to put makeup to show you how much difference a little bit, even just mascara, just watch, okay? <laughs> I'm Canadian, yeah. Your butterball is cute. Thanks, fondue. Oh my gosh. I think we all know. No, we're not sleeping all day. Sleeping in between prayers sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Are you following? So, Sight Unseen said, Hello, newbie here. Just wanted to see why there were hate channels on you. You don't seem to be a scammer. I'm confused. Oi. No, let's check the cup. No, I don't know why people watch them. Oi, oi, oi. She says the most disgusting things I've ever heard. Um, hey Jenna, I, I saw a snippet of like, I think Jessica messed <laughs> Somebody wrote. Brenda wrote, maybe Sala's family could host an iftar for your birthday. Look, honey, <laughs> she is no part of his family. Trust me on this. I'm telling you, anybody who's from that culture, from the Middle East, they're going to tell you. This woman is definitely no part of that family. Okay. History because like <clears throat> she like streams all their streams or whatever. I'm like, what's the big deal? People are talking about this now, now, now. Like, who the hell is this? What's going on? So I go and check, and I tune in to her like saying that she wishes somebody she doesn't like would be great by their father. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm tuning out. Bye. Oh my God, I don't even know who she's talking about. I didn't catch it. That's enough internet for today. Ooh. So no, I, I don't keep up with that crap. Unless I want to be in a bad, icky mood. Okay, guys, I have to remind you once again, this lovely makeup bag my sister gave me. Anything my sister gives me, I love. Yeah, okay. right. The one you stuck in the dryer. <laughs> I'm not going to put foundation. Speculation. I, I don't need it. Hey, Siam. Going to Umrah. Inshallah, yes. Hello, Chit E. Pondu. Yoga. Yeah. I just, I saw that and I was like, wow. Like, she was running off the mouth. I don't know. I don't, I don't pay attention to that side of the internet anymore. Thank you. My heart hurt for you, my sister. You seem to struggle much. A Muslim woman's sister. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I struggle with social, being social as well, honestly, unless it's online. But huh. I do struggle mentally a lot. Somebody yeah, sure. posted something and um, they deleted. Right. Just Reactors are turning into locales themselves lately. They call you out for the same things they do. Hypocrisy. This is San Gio. Uh, people define cheating differently. For me, once you destroy the trust, it is gone. All right. Watch. Just watch. Yeah, somebody made a comment and it got deleted so quickly. Uh, it said something like, you know, like, who are you to talk about a husband and, you know, because of what happened to her with the cheating. But talking to you guys honestly makes me in a better mood. There's nothing wrong with that. You guys are real humans. What are you going to sing for karaoke? Sing Change in the House of Flies. Hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't be promoting that song. Gonna just jump through. No, no I don't like bad mouthing anybody, but yeah, I, like, I can't. Wait, Chantal doesn't like bad mouthing anybody. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. That's so funny. Listen to that kind of stuff. Candlelight. Fake candles. Do I have a Muslim circle? No. Hey, Cynthia. Horror movie vibes. We watched Cabin in the Woods last week. Nobody cares. Nobody uh, cares okay. what you and Scat Daddy did. Uh -huh. Black eyeliner. I always have to have a cold pencil. Here it is. Really liked the movie, uh. Quitting with this. Do I ever watch Teen Sass? I don't watch too many uh, people anymore in here. Did you say but she actually, doesn't watch Teen Sass? I watch, um. 
Tell us who you watch. A lot of channels like uh, that do like compilations, like uh, Lazy Masquerade or like Dark Side of like stuff. And like, um, I was watching a story about this like guy. Is it Willie Two Guns or something like that? Like, like it was like dark things that happened on live stream. Anyways, is these people? Hi, Sarah. Floppers. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup at midnight because it's a live stream. I want to look more alive. Anyways, this guy was doing shots. Like people were daring him to do shots, and his buddies were like egging him on and like egging him on and like. Somebody sent twenty one dollars to do like a huge glass of shots, and he was on medication where he's not supposed to drink. And his friends were like, "Do it, you know." So anyway, he did the shots, and then he started like getting incoherent, like alcohol poisoning. And his friends were just like, like just like standing there, like poking on his head, putting face like face paint on him. And then he fell over and hit his head, and they were just like laughing and like not even calling the ambulance right away. Anyway, he ended up like going into a coma, and then like dying twenty five days later. Why does she always obsess about death stories? she does this all the time she loves like horrors but she also talks a lot about like real life tragic situations that like are really like you don't want to hear i don't understand it like she's just obsessed with like murder and uh, i don't know all i right. don't miss that you don't miss what i'm so glad i don't drink anything anymore like i don't i don't miss that yeah alcohol is bad <laughs> legally blonde what i don't legally blonde you know when your mascara is like drying up mm. and sorry if I miss anyone who came in while I'm doing this. If I was young, I, I would get one. lashes. Mm, a replacement one. <laughs> that says Foodie Beauty. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> so that way I can have two that in case I change my purse. Ugh. Life is religious no. because it's Madonna. <laughs> well, it's not really religious. It's sacrilegious because it's Madonna. Do you remember that scene from- But yet you still sing it. You're such a good Muslim. Like the League of the Rome, where they go in confession, and the, the priest comes out sweating because Madonna was in the, the thing, the confessional booth. You should have Foodie Beauty so iconic. <laughs> I'm waiting to see back what they say about my play button because it is dented, and they're like, if it's damaged, you can ask for a replacement. Hey, Bob Rock. Kate Middleton. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I'm I'll keep wearing my prayers. Hey, Stanley. I don't know Stanley. So see. I went from looking like I've risen from the dead to kind of cute. So somebody just asked, how is your blood sugar going? And let's see if she answers it. I, I, look, I went from looking from dead to, hi Ava, hey teardrop, hi. To, um, really gal Charlotte? Everyday trouble. Hmm. My milk bang. Anyway, to, um, with like therapy and with like psych psychiatric diagnosis. So I'm just waiting for like an official appointment with a psychiatrist. Wait. And with like a psych that like anyways, I have an appointment with like a mental health group mental health group that like helps you um with like therapy and with like psych psychiatric diagnosis. Why did you not do this over a year ago? So I'm just waiting for like an official appointment with a psychiatrist. So when that happens, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Probably he's gonna run screaming. And she'll go to one or two appointments, and that will never be spoken about again. It's going okay, Stanley. How you been? I can combine it into a super black. Yeah. Paul Freed, really? Uh, that happens. Hey, thanks, Teardrop. How are you doing? Got this. Oh. Hi, Victoria. Not Victoria. Yes, I saw that. The guy, yeah. I saw that. That was dark. Oh, what happened to that girl on live stream? Okay, I don't yeah, want to hear about that. these freaking... Thank you. Yeah, I always God. put the cathedral bathroom reverb on when I sing. You have bipolar type 1? How did you know you're bipolar? Hi, what's this? You, get, you get a diagnosis. I feel, like, I feel like I'm going insane. You go to a doctor hey, to get diagnosed. I think I'm manic or something because I go, like, insane. But you are insane. More, more... Shanta, you are insane. Like, like that's the perfect description. You are insane. Like, you know, calm. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going insane. It's not a good feeling. Quite a few of us out here have been telling you that you need to address your mental health. The core of your issue is mental. You need to get a handle of it. It's on you. You make up, you make these appointments, you go through the whole excitement of it, you get one or two appointments, and then you discontinue. And then you fall back into the same pattern again of neglecting yourself. Mental health takes consistency. Anything takes consistency. You can't just make an appointment, go to two of them, and then just surrender. 
You've been mentally unhealthy all your life. You're not going to get better in one or two sessions. It could take years, but you have to be proactive. You have to go consistently and you have to learn to change bad behaviors. And that's things you learn through therapy. You might realize that there is an underlying issue from your history that causes you to binge eat. And maybe if you clear that mental challenge you're having, maybe you'll find that you'll be more successful. Okay. Yeah, oh, be. sorry, guys. Yeah, because I don't have my records. Like... Ugh, I did that again. Oh, God. I don't think, like, I, I hate... want to have a more in-depth diagnosis than just, like, depression, you know? Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I clicked into it and blew her up. Okay, look. Yo mama just donated $10. Just Beezin was ready to buy a plane ticket, $2,000, and spend two hours at the DMV just to get an ID to fly and visit garlic bread for the weekend. F L F M A O. He turned her down. The hypocrisy. He got nine, nine likes. Videos. <laughs> I get kicked out of here. I'm kidding. Shelly, I just used my um, audio recorder. Mm. Going into a mental hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really, teardrop? Yeah, anxiety is no joke. Yo, Mama, what do you think about FFG dragging Shannon's husband for being racist? Is there a lot of immigrants in court and does... <laughs> like, who's B.O.? Mm. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Yo, Mama. You just want, to, want talking points on the drama, don't you? I don't know, I don't really have like an opinion, like, okay, no, I have to say, I don't care about those people whatsoever, so I just ignore, but, um, I did see what her husband wrote, and I'm like, 100% disgust, that's, like, I can't even tell you how disgusting that is, like, he basically called, like, I don't know which race he was referring to, probably Middle Eastern people, by saying they're sandal wearing goat. Okay, so, let me give you some advice, Chantal, right here, right now, you should, like, stop. Because you yourself are racist. So I don't think you should be really having an opinion about this topic. All I'm saying is that if he said that to Salah's face, he wouldn't have one anymore. You're ah. a if you <laughs> Sorry. Salah's face. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is that listen. if he said that to Salah's face, he wouldn't have one anymore. You're a cuckold if you let your wife kiss another man and grind on him. Salah? Wait. That's, he would All I'm saying is that if he said that to Salah's face, he wouldn't have one anymore. If he said that to Salah's face, he wouldn't have one anymore. Is that a threat, Chantal? I mean, Chantal, do, do, do you, um... You might need to get your eyes checked along with your your mind. Do, do you do you do you see the man you're you're with? There is nothing manly about him. Nothing, absolutely nothing. There's like minimal testosterone. Everything about him is feminine. Okay. He wouldn't lift a finger in a challenge with another man. He wouldn't survive. He'd probably be wailing his arms and legs like a toddler having a tantrum. Okay? I don't see him being able to hold himself very well in a fight up against a man who's probably definitely more built than he is. So, you know, I, I can't imagine Sal has been in many uh, fights in his life. Like, physical fights. <sighs> wow. That's a... Yeah... <laughs> I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. You're a cuckold if you let your wife kiss another man and grind on him. That's just... And you're staying with a man who wanted to shit all over somebody. He wanted to scam for money. And he wanted to float while he floated you in Kuwait. So what the hell are you talking about? You're an idiot. People you're, who, you're, um, you are. You are. You. You. You are an idiot. Not, like, say racist things like that against other... Uh, just, they have no brains. They have no brains. I don't know. Don't forget the bomb making. Oh, yeah. Bomb, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Probably. Yeah. So disgusting. It's so disgusting. It's like, just... Whatever. 
I wear sandals and I'm white. <laughs> exactly. And who was that one? The Unabomber was white. So eat crap. And yes, I'm saying that during Ramadan, it's after fasting hours, so eat it. <clears throat> so Talia says, garlic subscribers told him to stop talking about you and he continues, but he says you are desperate. Well, that's his content. I mean, most of his content is Chantal. Why would he agree to stop? That makes no sense. I've had like this little bonita stuck in my head for three days. Thank you. <laughs> it was this. Yeah, the so, lave momenti di a said. <laughs> Don't answer about your ex friend's husband. The reactors are waiting to make money on your reaction. Ooh. Yeah, you got us. You know, because I make so much coin. <laughs> I'm like a tidy little channel. But yeah, yeah. So, some people are going to make some coin on this. But, uh, hey, it's entertainment, right? Disgusting and wild, yep. What a stupid- he just named off, like, every stereotype and thought it was probably funny. <laughs> most people po- and he posted on Facebook, like, most people post, like, quotes, like, you know, live, laugh, love, kind of thing, you know, with butterflies. Hi, Talia! Got called, it's called the day youth. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, basically, if you watch your wife, um, grind on another guy and kiss him. Yeah, Ava. <laughs> And your honey is into scat. I mean, I mean, I, 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 okay, like people have fetishes. Your man's fetish is pretty wild and dirty. I mean, Chantal, what are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. The even more racist towards First Nation people. There's a serial killer that targets them in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Ugh. Probably, Linda. Immigrants do not get everything handed to them coming into Canada. Yeah, if you're mad at immigrants taking your jorbs, probably because you're not qualified, you bum. Uh, I'm sorry. I Wait, she just said, if you're mad about immigrants coming and taking your jobs, then you're not qualified. <laughs> God. She knows nothing. <laughs> nothing. I don't even why she talks on things she knows nothing about. Nothing. I have trouble holding my tongue. <laughs> That's why you said this. You do. Isn't it? <clears throat> so someone said, Garlic, uh, Sylvia2002, Garlic bread strikes me as someone who wants to be intellect intellectual desperately, has a fox helpful attitude, but ultimately comes across like a stupid positive statement at the end of Jerry Springer. I have to say the writing was really good. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that was real good use of uh, content and wordsmithing. Very well written. I don't agree. <laughs> so whatever. I don't know anything about garlic bread, honestly, so I can't speak on that. Come here and say all those things. Come here and say all those things to uh, a Middle Eastern person. I dare you. You don't have the balls. You don't. It's Ramadan. Let's behave. Okay, yes. Let's behave. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't work, too. The blue pill... Yeah, it's back here. I'm covering it. I'm not going to do the worst jobs that people don't want. You will get sick for it. It's always the people who are not qualified and like have no qualifications to work who blame the immigrants for taking their jobs. No, blame yourself. Chantal, do you realize that a lot of the immigrants that come into a country, just like my parents when they came, okay, um, you typically work the low-level jobs. They usually don't have, they're, they're coming here to get education and advances. I mean, they come here to, to start. People don't come here to be vice president of a company. Okay, that, that's usually somebody's come with a visa or has been sponsored by a company. That's different. You're, you're mix, mixing two things. They're entirely different things. Shata, I just, I, I honestly, I just think she hates people. I know she hates women. And I know she has issues with other groups of people. She definitely hates women. But I think in general, she hates people. Favorite word, creepy, eh? Anyways. She's got to be so socially me. awkward. It's none of my business. <clears throat> you like misbehaving? It is fun to or misbehave. For the mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I don't like about Cornwall. It's too white. <laughs> you know? Actually, the best restaurants in Cornwall. Well, now, she, now you're going to start with the white racism. <laughs> Because we know you're good for that, too. They're from non-white people. They're from Greek people. Philos, Greek owners. Louis Pizzeria. Little... Wow. You got something to say about the Greeks? Some of my dearest friends are Greeks, honey. 
cute Greek man. <laughs> he's so short, but he's so nice. Um, Greek man. King George, Greek restaurant. Okay. There you go. Okay. I don't I don't understand. What are you yeah, saying? Some candles, some fake ones. For your fake attitude and your <laughs> fake self. <laughs> like teddy bear cube, kind of. <sighs> Trying to get through this before hubby gets mm, home. Diversity is delicious, yeah. Diversity you, is delicious. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, them for sure, Stanley. I agree. Elemental, I have not watched it, no. I haven't watched like a few Crazy, please focus your time on your child and not for the beauty. She can do nothing for you in life. Invest in your child. Yeah, really. This loser makes fun of me every time I go live, okay? Okay. You should be thanking me. You should be thanking me for paying your bills and affording you to take care of your child and take them to Disneyland with my content. You're welcome, Jay Leno. Mm. I she guess. So she's talking about, I think she's talking about Florida, I right? Child and take them to Disneyland with my content. Okay, so I, I would think that they had other jobs. Maybe not. It's possible they can make a living, Yaba and Sam, off of YouTube. I don't know. I've never looked at their views or anything. But um, there's probably very few reactors that make, get enough views and make enough money just strictly doing content on Foodie Beauty. Like, I would say maybe the top two biggest channels. I don't know. Maybe. But, yeah. The rest of the people, I mean, they probably make minimal Nobody's making a living off of this. Unless, of course, they're a bigger YouTuber. You're welcome, Jay Leno. Jay she Leno. So what the hell does so Jay Leno have to do? Yeah, she's been supporting her husband this whole time for democracy. Thank you, Yo Mama. You're right. Yes. And that was that chat mama. I read. They're all hypocrites. We've been saying this. And it just keeps coming out and coming out. Yes. Yes. Okay. Like. You want to talk hypocrites? Let's talk about you. Huh? 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 Have you broken an SUP? Listen. Go, girl. <sighs> Let us have it. I, the things I could tell you about their relationship, mm. I'm not going to lower myself to that level, mm. but they have some nerve. Yes, they have some nerve. Mm. Like, you talk about my husband, what he did. He didn't even cheat in real life. You cheated on your husband. Are you kidding me? Chantal. I, I'm not going to lower myself to that level, but they have some nerve. Yes, they have some nerve. Like, you're going to talk about my husband, what he did. He didn't even cheat in real life. She just said... That Scat Daddy, a.k.a. Sala, didn't cheat in real life. It was imaginary. Yes, we've all imagined it. Because that's how Chantal is. Anything that happened in the past, she can redefine it however she wants and make it go away. No matter how much we bring it up, she will deny its existence. And so now what she's saying... Oh my god... I swear, wait, let's see, one more time. ...about their relationship. I'm not going to lower myself to that level, but they have some nerve. Yes, they have some nerve. Like, you're going to talk about my husband, what he did. He didn't even cheat in real life. You cheated on your husband at least two times that I can count with Andre. What about Andre? Yeah, so can it? I guess is she talking about Shannon? Possibly. I don't know. I'm thinking that's who she's talking about because she knows those details. You have and of course, she's now going to spill names, spill information. She can't. She she's like, I won't even talk about their relationship. And now she's going to proceed to give us information. Well, that's a fair. You kicked your husband out. Like. Anyway. I still don't think that that tops. Scat. Really, I don't. I think Scat could top cheating. Some guy she was on with. I already talked about this a while ago. Like, whatever. Hey, I'm just giving it right back to her. She talks about my relationship, so. I mean, she doesn't realize that every time you engage somebody in a back and forth, you're just you, you're just giving them what they want. Like, if you just don't acknowledge it and don't talk about it, it won't be an issue. For six hours on her anniversary, and I never said anything about that. I never, I never talk back to these people compared to what they say about me. <sighs> I never said that, but she proceeds to say it. <laughs> yeah, that's easier said than done, Robin. You tried so, Sun Sanjir wrote, Can you denounce being a Muslim, or is there no turning back? I, I think there are people out there who are no longer Muslim. Being in my shoes and having these moron hypocrites come after you in every way. They are horrible, illegally blonde. Hi, Rose! Wife swap? No, I would never do it. 
I have seen it, yeah. You're all kind of person. That was a stupid show. Time. I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But I've been friends with this person for like years. And like, because of that, I don't like to talk about her like online that much, you know, but like the things she said about me and <clears throat> my situations have been disgusting and like just making up things about the past. I don't know. Just stupid. So yeah, she has nothing interesting. Yeah, I know. He nearly hit someone else's wife over a wet floor. Oh yeah, I saw that one, Talia. <laughs> like, like, full out almost DV moment. So, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think so. But wife swap is like, I don't know, it's so weird. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that show. That was weird. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I know it's still cheating. It does hurt for sure, you know? But I think there's levels. Like, if somebody was just caught texting somebody versus if they had a baby with someone, would that not be a lot worse? You know what I mean? Like... Chantal, your man wanted to scam her, take her money, bring her to Kuwait, just like he did with you. Remember you, you paid a nice hefty check at the beginning for the agreement of exchange of the transactional relationship? He wanted to do the same thing with her. She just kept it going to have all this evidence, which was really great because it just proved what a piece of, you know, crap he is. I don't know how you can be so dismissive. Of, aren't you embarrassed? that you are with a man who behaves this way and it not only that let's say that happened and you moved on from that but in a really public way with one of your subscribers doesn't that just puzzle your mind doesn't it make you think you know maybe this this guy isn't so you know but no I mean, her standards are so, <sighs> they're, they're weird. Like, she likes men who are really skinny. She definitely likes the Middle Eastern guys. Um, uh, she definitely has a preference. Yeah. No, that would be, uh, no. Hi, Sylvia. That would be like getting my shovel. No. <laughs> Long as I can time up value for 300 seconds. <laughs> Why? She, 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 I don't even see her here. There's one creator who stalks her. Who? Me? You can forget, but you don't forget, yeah. Oh, the Christian crazy one. Yeah, the crazy lady. I'm very, yeah, I'm jealous too. I used to be a lot more jealous. But yeah, I am too, Sheree. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> Whatever. All I'm saying is her relationship is far from perfect. She has no business coming from me. Nobody's relationship is perfect, Chantal, but the thing is, yours is public. I mean, I don't know what Shannon shared publicly or if you're just sharing private knowledge or what it is. But you're free game. When you're putting your life online, you have to expect people to react. It's kind of like when I was a kid and my aunts or uncles would come over and they would have something to say about something that I was going to do and that I had to factor in all their opinions on it. The directors are turning into lol cows themselves. They call you up for the same things they do. They always did, yeah. They always did. Yeah, oh, I just want to go back. She has no business coming from mine. The directors are turning into lol cows themselves. They call you up for the same things they do. They always did, yeah. They always did. I was like, anyway, <laughs> whatever. French. Once you destroy the trust, it's done. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I get that not many people. Some people do move on. I don't know, Chantal. I, I can imagine that this information you're disclosing right now is probably not public information and it's information that you know privately. Um, it's not the same thing. It, it isn't. Some people don't. Um, you know, but how I deal with it, I just don't talk about it publicly. There's no way you can do that and still make a relationship work, so... Baby gal is in the water box. We have a box of Aquafina and she is in it. How do you think Chantal is punishing Scat Daddy at home? I often think about it. <laughs> I know she probably does a lot of manipulation with the pain, like making it seem more intense than it is. I would imagine that she manipulates to get the food um, because she doesn't you know, want to cook because she's lazy and she's probably in pain. Um, yeah. Sleeping. The, the, um, just like a box in the middle of the floor and I can't move it now because the minute it got, fell on the ground, 
I took like I took all the water out and then kind of just like tossed it on the ground. I guess not fell. She went inside right away. Am I done with Twitch? Oh, no. I'm done with everything right now. Aquafina's made by Pepsi. Where? Pepsi Cola. Oops. Oh, that's bad. Let's take the label off. <laughs> it was on sale. I don't know. I didn't notice. It is hard to boycott everything because everything is owned by everything. Pretty much. You know what? We usually buy local water, but this was like, for Ramadan, it was on sale. So, but I guess uh, now I know. <sighs> yeah, we definitely have some products that I'm sure. <clears throat> I haven't eaten at McDonald's though, or a Burger King or Starbucks. Mm, really good good for you, honey. But kind of doesn't sell You're such a rebel. A lot of medications and vaccines. Well, I'm sorry, but I need to live, so. <laughs> this is the blue pill and make my Pepsi. <laughs> what kind of cancer does she have? Yeah, that's sad. I'm more of a Coke girl than Pepsi. Yeah, I think I prefer Coke too, Sarah. Yeah, I'm a Pepsi Italian. girl. Joanna, hey girl. Got to. Good to see you. I was browsing another channel, they were so worried about you. Oh, well, thank you. Grandma, I don't know. I don't test it anymore. Oh, that was the okay so i guess the chat was running different from the live but that was the e the earlier question i asked somebody had asked how her blood sugar was doing and that was her responding that she doesn't even check it so much now you're making hummus she'll be good luck i'll make hummus is really good mm. it's so I easy to make was, was it yesterday or the day before again and um we get into the superintendent Glass bottles. If you live in the east coast of Canada, they use glass bottles. Did you just hear about the attack in Moscow? Moscow, Russia? About the um, stadium? Really, Red Ocean? Wow, I have, to look, I have to try that for sure. I know I need to take care of myself. Saying you're in Canada or in jail. In jail for what? Like, what crime did I commit? True, Sue Ann. They don't care if you're rich or poor. Illnesses, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Wilford Brimley says. You should check your blood sugar. <laughs> Zoe, I'm not sure. You should be checking your blood sugar, considering you have type 2 diabetes. The concert hall. Yeah, I did see that, Rascal. That's so sad. The world is such a sad state of crap. It's so hard it to is. be jaded and miserable. It is. <sighs> Brenda, you keep asking me about if I'm right. sad for a day. You know what I mean? They just like highlight the rich and famous people only. They don't care about peasants. Oh my god. Here we go. They always say I'm going to jail. Oh my god. I'm gonna call the Saudi prince on her and have her put away for good. She's is that milk tea? Is she? She's yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Look at her rolling her eyes. You know, I have a tip for you all who are so vehemently hate, hateful towards me. Don't watch me. Like literally, live your life, man. Live your life. I can say for myself, I don't, I, I don't like hate you because I don't, I don't know you. I've never met you, um, but I don't like the person you are, considering how you show yourself to all of us i can't speak for other people but uh hate's a strong word <laughs> cauliflower rice is okay but it's not rice it's like cauliflower <laughs> just recently was ready to buy a plane ticket 2k and spent two hours at the dmv just to get an idea to fly and visit gore with breath for a weekend lmfa he turned her down with hypocrisy <laughs> didn't he turn her down for like a catfish he was like making up or no he was cheating on her with jessica messica thank you your mama for the super chat what is up with some of these reactors <laughs> i swear to god I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. They're like meeting in real life, having affairs. I'm like, <laughs> I can't even keep up with like Chantal. There's, there's a whole other world going on that I don't know about. <laughs> it's like crazy. I see it, pure, you know, occasionally on the Twitter, but I, I, I can't keep up with it. It's so much. You sponsored the stream today. <sighs> I can't stay mad at you. Remember the song I ain't mad at you by Tupac? Anyway, mm -hmm. you're right, that's really pathetic. Andre Marie, the Saudi Prince is very invested in the food beauty. Anyways, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, you're right, that's, that's really pathetic. <sighs> Imagine being attracted to a man -let who talks like this, and whose legacy on the internet is talking about me all the time, the most dumb petty thing. Imagine being so into a guy who really like uh likes to take a dump on the floor and uh let me rub my titties all around them and clean the floor with that. I mean, what? What the hell are you talking about? Oh my the, god! The ten minutes after I upload, 
see my husband's gonna say I sound angry again. See, I'm trying to say I'm trying to say I'm more pleasant on this one. <laughs> Picture up on his computer farting away. Ew. Talk about fart box. You know what? Farting, farting. You've got scat daddy. That tops farting. So that has a lot of sprays you could buy for your um living at home bachelor smell in your bedroom there. Gorlick. <sighs> Honey, your apartment must get ripe by the end of the time where you need a bath. Okay, I, I can't imagine it smells pleasant in there. I don't think that you open windows and let the air circulate. I, I, no. I'm not being nice during the one I know. I can't help it. These people are annoying. Well, I want to show you guys the new, the new air fresheners. <laughs> the new line of air fresheners. They smell really nice. I'm bringing them. Yeah. Right there, right there. She's going <laughs> to have, all stuff. she's got some air fresheners so she can, you know, mask, try to mask the odor. Yeah. Well, people I know you weren't talking about someone else's man. Checks the last text. Okay, text, whatever, blah, 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 one incident. At least I didn't have a whole full, he didn't have a full blown affair, or I didn't. Hi, love you. Chantal, what he did was pretty bad. I, I would say it's, like, bad, bad, because he was scamming. Like, it wasn't even, like, he was just some guy, you know, met a girl online, decided to, you know, uh, you know, pump and dump her, and, you know, cheated on his woman. Th this is entirely different. This is, you know, he, he wanted to scam her. He wanted to take her money and bring her to Kuwait and do nasty things to her. Okay? I mean, seriously. Did you see the degradation that he was doing? I mean, like, seriously. Look look at the man you have. Are you proud of that? Do I have to pass you? I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I know right here, though. Let us see them. They're in the other room. I don't want to wake them up. I still drink the Unimate uh, Unimat table. <laughs> Carolina, I'm busting you up. Where are you going out? Go. I'm here for your relationships. They're the ones talking about my relationship all day. So, Anyways, I'm not the one coming for other people's relationships. They're the ones talking about my relationship all day. So I'm pointing out, like, you're the super... Because you put your stuff out there. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think, like, everybody was just going to sit there? Like, all the aunts and uncles are going to sit there in your living room and go, Oh, yeah, Chantal, you're doing a great job. Good for you. You're unhealthy. You got type 2 diabetes. You got a, you know, this is going on with your lung, and you got this, and you're not taking your estrogen. And, uh, yeah, we, we approve it. Oh, hold on, guys. My hubby's calling. Oh, my gosh. So, of course, he called me, interrupted me, and now I totally lost my train of thought. So, that's going to seem like the thought that wasn't finished. So we're going to move on. <laughs> Maybe it will come back to me. Um, she talks about Salah. Her man doesn't have a job either because he's, um, he's, he's raging against immigrants for that. <laughs> and she's had literally several affairs on him. So like legit, like touchy, physical ones. Hi, Lady J. I guess she's talking about Shannon. Yeah, I'm saying about Mary. Uh, Shannon having affairs on her husband. Okay, but I would imagine that that wasn't publicized. Like Shannon didn't make a video or maybe she did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That she didn't make a video saying like, yeah, you know, I cheated on my husband. I kicked him out. Maybe she did. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. But um, I don't know if she's just disclosing private information that she says, which would be totally wrong. Who cares? Imagine marrying someone who called your kids unfortunate looking. <sighs> Carlyx subscribers told him to stop talking about you when he continues, but he says you are desperate. Where are they? They're there to watch him pick on me. What else is he, he going to talk about? He has a channel with over 100,000 subscribers. He gets like 150 views on a video. Like, what's he going to talk about? It's a man. It's a man. Her answer about your ex-friend husband. These reactions are waiting to make money on your reaction. Yeah, I know, love you, but... Guy was dating, told me I was the most annoying person you ever met. That's not very nice, blue card. Don't watch them or listen to them. I mostly don't. They said they're bored with the topic, but he continues to make videos. Of course, he wants money. So he can buy his mom some bras. So he could buy his mom some bras? The hell is that? Airbnb for his catfish. <laughs> Big girlfriends. Uh, yeah, I know. And he, he's like one of the people who says, I have no content. Like, excuse me? Your content is my content. So I hate to tell ya. Well, no, your content helps us have content right so what if we're a reactor we're giving con, con you know we're, we're having a conversation we're having dialogue about what's going on in your video so we're giving something we're contributing to the to the content so it becomes our content um somebody who does clip channels and adds funny music and little clips and stuff like that 
that's their artistic creation. They put that together. <laughs> Just leeches, I know. They got married and Sam is still in for their raging. About Belinda and Owl. Yeah, a nice happy honeymoon. Eh? Didn't they say that about me? She's raging on her honeymoon. Well, what about you? You're posting pictures of your tw on Twitter, uh, at the beach on Twitter and meanwhile raging against people. Ah, so she's going on Twitter now. Well, yeah, I would imagine she's got like a fake account and she goes on there. <laughs> we need a leech mode. Oh my gosh, yes, and zombie ones. They were cooted in Rakan. <laughs> Ew. I know I said that. I was just uh, mixing the grossest things I could think of. Because there was a barracuda in Cuba. Like I said, someone, some of your haters look like the cannibals from the wrong turn. <laughs> what? Some of your haters look like the cannibals of what? Yeah, like there's, there's zombies. Wait, like hold said, on. Someone, some of your haters look like the cannibals from the wrong turn. <laughs> We can't, like, there's zombies for sure. Really? Hmm. Hi, Fernanda. Apparently, us reactors are zombies. Yeah, we saw that. Scarlet strikes me as someone who wants to be intellectual desperately, has a faux helpful attitude, but ultimately comes across like a stupid positive statement at the end of Jerry's finger. Now that's that <laughs> one so I read, yeah. I'm gonna borrow it from Salah's video. Yeah, he should keep making them. Have you stopped sneezing? Go like this, really hard. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. People are just pathetic. <laughs> this ain't cool no. Okay, let's be positive, I guess. Okay, what do you have? What do you have for us that's positive? I say barracuda ricotta all the time because of you. Barracuda and warm ricotta. All right, gross. Depends on the context, but B plus. We're not a positive flock here. We're here for the tea. Let's not pretend. Gossip is like oh, it's tiring. It's addictive though. I know it's hard for me to like not run my mouth. That's one thing I struggle with, but. What's far what's hard for you is not wanting drama and not watching the reactors. Like if you didn't watch the reactors, you could just make your own content and possibly be successful. But the reality is that you get, you know, what, max four hundred views and you apparently have a hundred one hundred and one thousand subscribers. The math doesn't match. It, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I mean a lot. <laughs> I'm so tired of the religious beliefs from people who are vile and disgusting. Ugh. I saw on your mom's stream, somebody was like, I deserve it. I can't even say it, I'm gonna laugh. Okay, I have to try not to laugh. Okay, what? What did they say, Chantal? Tell us. You should I what? <laughs> what? Someone said because I made a cover of Madonna during Ramadan that I deserve biblical punishment. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And Scat Daddy will give that to you. He'll turn the who's on high. Spread those cheeks. <laughs> You're running my life. Sing us a song. Why do birds sing no, me a thing? No. 40 lashes for the heretic. <laughs> for every verse of that Madonna song. Oh, I'm thirsty. Hi, kitty. I started singing in my cabin in my room. <laughs> That's old, I know. You have to calm me down. Hey, guys, I'm not playing. I do have her sped up, so she does sound a little These fast. I cared about Islam before I reverted. They didn't care, now they're all like. I'm so offended. I'm all I care about is not community. It's because you're to the world I Okay, what the hell is that? What the hell, Chantal? You want to let's, let's let's see that theatrics they again. Now, like, now watch. I'm, so offended. I'm all I care about is not community. It's because you're to the world <laughs> Okay, so here's the reality, Chantal. The reason why some people bring that up is because you are living in Kuwait. You're living in an Islamic country. I would err on the side of caution and I would keep my mouth shut. But you, unfortunately, do not have that ability to self-control yourself and what you say. So you go and blurt out things that you probably shouldn't be talking so openly about in a Muslim country. Okay, so you're putting yourself in a risky position. And I can tell you right now, I'm sure that uh Salah's family is very aware of your channel because I'm sure somebody, a friend, whatever brought it to their attention. They're fully aware of what a basket case mess you are and that is why you're not part of the family. Okay? You are a basket case. And they know that. <laughs> That's my impression of madness. No life madness. <laughs> I love the way you piss the haters off. <laughs> I mean, do you think that his family would want this type of shame reflected on their, their family? I mean, this is, this is shame. The way she is, the way she behaves. 
you don't need to. I'm not gonna lie. Like I would be ashamed of having a daughter-in-law like this. The weekend's ruined for me. You know some music. Another professional's in Islam. I know. Yeah, duck puppet. It's only what Allah thinks. You're right, Robin. Put on your Spotify, Joanne. What about us? Yeah, I ruined it for you guys, right, Kavon? I'm sure I did. I can't lose you, babe. No, okay? no, no. Politics and religion always get people. I know who does. Yeah, I, I, I suggest you stay guys. away from those topics. So last favorite Western makeup song? Julia. All right. You know what song is? Again, I know. We're gonna kind of race through this because she's now like goofing off. Bush some temple pilots this summer. Like she Fix normally it. does in videos. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Mercy me. Yes, ew. I'm so gross out. Fuck. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Did you catch that, guys? I'm so gross out. Fuck. <laughs> listen, me. listen. Yes, ew. I'm so gross out. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Mercy me. Yes, listen, ew. listen. I'm so gross out. Sorry. Haram! Haram! <laughs> Where's my haram button? Anyways, I want to snap. Haram! And I know she knows that's coming. Like, everybody's gonna, like, either clip or put haram there or something like that. She knows it's coming. Mm. Mm. Scott Whaling? I didn't find him attractive, but I like his singing. Yeah. He wanted to celebrate playing the keyboard for me when I got my plan. Makes me, sad. makes me cry because he's so he's sweet guys in a lot of ways. So many ways. Yeah, real <sighs> sweet. Nobody's perfect. No, nobody's perfect. If you get pizza, keep it in the kitchen. I only take one slice at a time. <clears throat> Actually, I don't strike her. <sighs> Mercy me. <gasps> I was blind, but now I see. <laughs> Turn into dough in your body. <clears throat> Actually, I don't strike her. Every time. I don't. I don't strike people every time. He said she's getting a new laptop. You should tell her you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, really. The audacity to, for her to treat me that way when I pay her bills? Like, kiss my butt. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. Oh, sorry. Just... You want the reactors all kiss your ass because you apparently pay her bills? <laughs> Swear jar. <clears throat> now you're gonna need to have a uh, nice spanking tonight from your husband because you're so misbehaving. Saying okay. a cuss word. <gasps> oh, Terrible. What's up, this man in your head? What's up, this man? You don't like the tomato sauce base? That, I, that's what I like the most, but it gives me the most heartburn. Yeah, some people it's can't handle sauce. tomato base. I never had white pizza. Where? My husband loves white like pizza. pizza. <laughs> if I want to eat something really unhealthy, like if I do unhealthy groceries, oh my gosh. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh. Okay. Last unhealthy little mini haul. I didn't show you guys. I got a 500 gram bag of mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, a bottle of French dressing. It's not funny, but a little bag of chip chips candies, um, butter, 20 pack of indomie, hmm. um, soda, okay, hot Cheetos. Hmm. What else? So you got junk no food. Yeah, have a satchel and salad? No, that sounds good though. She had junk food. Never give up on the cheese. French fries and honey. Yeah, I don't know that point. I look. Don't look at ground beef when you're eating. <laughs> don't look at ground beef when you're eating. Like, whatever. Um. Then I made a homemade soup. Okay, she got some food. She got grape leaves. That's what yeah. she's eating. How fast you gonna know? Cold grape leaves, yeah. I love Lucy, really. April Fool's Day. <laughs> Friend of I'm sorry. Hi, Nelly. Who the stars? Now I'm coming in. Now she's drinking the juice out of the bottle. I'm not going to drink So good. Alright, guys. I'm going to end this here. Hubby's going to be home soon, so want to be done editing this by that time but i hope you guys have a wonderful evening please leave your com comments be below don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and if you enjoy more content please subscribe to the channel love to have you join our family over here and 
have a wonderful, wonderful evening and be safe.